Hello and welcome to our class, the application of the mean value theorem, the velocity. First, let's review the mean value theorem. Jordanson, would you like to tell us what is the mean value theorem? The mean value theorem is, if f is continuous on a closed interval a b. And differentiable on its interior a b, then there is at least one number c in a b where f of b minus f of a over b minus a equals f prime of c, or equivalently, where f of b minus f of a equals f prime of c times b minus a. Fantastic, thank you, Jonathan. In geometric language, the mean value theorem is easy to state and understand. It says that if the graph of a continuous function has a non-vertical tangent line at every point between a and b, then there is at least one point c on the graph between a and b. At which the tangent line is parallel to the secant line AB. In Figure One, there is just one such point C, and in this figure, there are several. If the function s of t represents the position of an object at time t, then the mean value theorem states that over any interval of time. There is some time for which the instantaneous velocity equals the average velocity. Example one. John traveled 112 miles in two hours, and claimed that he never exceeded 55 miles per hour. Now, could you use the mean value theorem to disprove John's claim? Now let's do it together. Let f of t be the distance traveled in time t. We see that f of t is satisfied with the mean value theorem on the interval zero to two. So apply the mean value theorem. We have that f of two minus f of zero over two is equal to one hundred twelve over two. And it's equal to fifty-six. So, according to the mean value theorem, there is at least one number c in the open interval zero to two, where f prime c is equal to fifty-six. We see fifty-six is greater than fifty-five. So, at some time during the trip, Johnny. Must have gone fifty-six miles per hour. Now let's see next example. A car is stationary at two balls. Eighteen minutes later, at a point twenty miles down the road, the car is clocked at sixty miles per hour. Could you sketch a possible graph of v? Versus t, and could you sketch a possible graph of the distance traveled as against t? And use the mean value theorem to show that the car must have exceeded that six mile per hour speed limit at some time after leaving the toll booth. But before the car was clocked at six miles per hour. First, we draw the possible graph of the function v and s, like those. Now, please think about the question. Who would like to answer that? Jack, would you like to show that the car must have exceeded the speed limit? Yes, s is differentiable between s of zero equals zero. And as eighteen equals twenty, 
so we can apply the mean value theorem. There exists a C in the interval 0, 18, such that V of C equals S prime of C equals 20 over 18 times 60 miles per hour. So the car must have exceeded the 60 mile per hour speed limit at some time. From the graph, we also can find that the car has exceeded 6 miles per hour. Good job, Jack. Thank you. So we say the car must have exceeded the 60 mile per hour speed limit. We discussed the application of the mean value theorem in the geometry and in the daily life. Imagine that if the function in the theorem gives your car's odometer reading as a function of time, then the slope of the second line from A to B gives you average speed during that interval of time. Because dividing the distance traveled f of B minus f of A by the elapsed time B minus A, so gives you the average speed. The point C f of C guaranteed by the mean value theorem is a point where your instantaneous speed given by the derivative f prime C equals your average speed. That's the mean value theorem says. We discuss the application of the mean value theorem in the geometry and in the daily life. Hope you enjoy it. That's all for this section. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next topic.